Hello and welcome. DJ Vic Vapor with you. Welcome to the Martini Lounge. And uh, we've got a set or, um, sorry, a template open here in Bitwig Studio. Uh, I was just kind of goofing around with an idea here, trying to um, help uh, a club DJ out with a, a little bit of a house remix of In My Feelings. And I thought it'd be a great time to share with you guys a plugin that I've been working with that I've really taken a liking to. So let me show you first of all, I'll mute this guy so there's no beat. Show you a little bit about what we going on, what we got going on. So you kind of get the idea of what I've got laid out here. But what I'm experimenting with is how do I want the drum kit beneath my um, re-edit here to actually sound, to actually drive the track. So I'm going to duplicate this track so we can leave one muted. Because the one I've got there I kind of like right now and I don't want to mess that up. But I do want to show you what we're talking about here as far as plugins go. And it is, the plugin is Atlas. It's this guy right here. So let's see, How do, where do we start? Um, one of the things I wanna to talk to you guys about is the interface itself. It's really simple, really straightforward. And that's one of the things that I love because I'm, with all my years of experience in producing, I like to just kind of jump in, hit play, and get going. I don't want to be digging around through samples. I don't want to be doing a whole bunch of nonsense. So you can kind of zoom in and zoom out here on the interface a little bit to get different idea of what, what's going on. And then, you know, you can hit these individually. Let me turn this uh, master up a little bit. Hit these individually to hear the sounds. You can see the sounds and how they're categorized. But don't let the simplicity of the interface fool you. It's very, very powerful with what's available to us here. So I'm going to hit New Kit. And instantly, I'm going to unlock this stuff. That was the kit that I was working on originally. And I'll just hit Play and kind of give you guys an idea of what's going on here. Let me, um, let me do this. Let me solo the drum side here and we'll just loop a main section. Let's loop this last part. So I'll loop that last part. So, okay. Atlas is open. We've got, you know, a kick, a snare, clap, hi hat, hi hat open, hi hat closed, shaker. Tom, and then this is just labeled other for what any other additional sounds that you want to add. And that's the kit that currently has loaded for us. So let's listen to it. Let me make sure I start this guy right here. And there's our kit and our pattern. So there's our kit and pattern. And all I have to do, if I want new sounds or say... If I like an individual sound, I can lock it. Or if I just want to change an individual sound, I can hit this little circle guy and it changes that individual sound. Or I can say I want a whole new kit. Now I've got a whole new kit. And the cool thing about that is it allows you to go through your samples a lot more efficiently than just kind of scrolling up and down, hitting all your one shots and trying to figure out, dragging it into a sampler and trying to figure out what sounds good. And then we've got this classic house pattern here, this MIDI house pattern, which is another feature of Atlas that I want to show you guys. So you can go over here and say, give me MIDI clips. And it has all this stuff that comes loaded with it. You know, it's got uh, breaks, breaks one, two, hip hop, house, classic house, you know, future house, garage, techno. And all you have to do is let's say we wanted, uh, say this techno five, we wanted this, so we click on it and drag it over into the DAW. And there's that MIDI pattern 
for that group, for that, you know, genre. I'm going to go back to where we were. And we'll leave it there. And we'll just go with that right now. So that's MIDI clips that come here. And then, of course, you can add your own. You can go to user MIDI clips. And here I've added my own. I've put a bunch of bass MIDI clips in here. So I can drag out my bass MIDI clips right from this um, plug-in. Makes things nice and easy. And these are the ones that come bundled. So it's as simple as just kind of going through your browser by clicking the folder there and finding what you want. And then you've got drum kits here that you, if you want to load your own specific drum kit, or maybe you've got one within this uh, plugin that you like, you can save it and then call it back up at any time. And then, of course, maps. Now, what maps refer to, there's a welcome pack of maps. And what they're referring to there is the drum sounds that are available. So they give you, you know, a nice little collection to begin with. But ultimately, I think if you've got a big library on your hard drive already, the, the advantage here isn't really using what they've provided. Not to say there's anything wrong with those samples, but really the power is, you know, having your own maps. So you simply select, you know, like if we were back here, you would select create a new map, and then you can name it, and then you search for the folder or folders that you want mapped. And what's cool about this is it'll actually go and search that folder in that library. For instance, here, let's see what we can do. I'm not going to actually go through a search because it would take forever. So now I would click, uh, you know, let I would name it something here, whatever I want to name it. And then I would click add. And then I would find whatever folder I want and go from there. But the cool thing is, once that folder is selected, I hit Analyze Samples, and the um, AI within the program will go in and determine what's a kick, what's a clap, what's a snare, what's a hi-hat, you know, and where things fit. And it'll automatically organize for you and create your own map. Now, I will be honest with you, I need to delete this one. I will be honest with you, it the the AI itself isn't a hundred percent accurate, and not I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Actually, what I've found is I'm going to go back to my map here and we'll load it. What I've found is periodically, as I'm scroll, scrolling through these new uh, kits or kind of you know trying to find new ideas, the inefficiency sometimes of the AI maybe it doesn't locate a sound or put it in the right folder or organize it perfectly. I would say it's about 90 to 93% accurate. So it's, it's extremely accurate, you know, as far as getting the majority of your library organized, but the little subtleties that happen with the pieces that misses or not really misses, but maybe misorganizes or however you want to refer to it. That little subtlety is kind of what makes it fun for me, actually, it, cause it'll give you all these random organization collections and sounds that you would have never thought of on your own. And I've found over the course of using it that when an, a sound that gets loaded in the wrong spot actually happens, sometimes that inspires me to, you know, move in a different direction with the actual rhythm. So let me load a new kit here. And I'm just going to give you guys an idea how I go about using it. Watch how easy it is. just kind of hone in on a sound here something I like so let's say I like the kick I lock it in and I'll continue with new kit and the kick stays the same for me now Let's say all we really need to change is this hi-hat. So I just change it individually. And now, of course, according to whatever pattern I have loaded, is whether or not all the sounds are going to be utilized. So at this point, it doesn't look like everything is being utilized. And then again, like I showed you earlier, you can scroll in further detail. You know, and you can... 
isolate individual sounds if you're looking for if you want to scroll and search and have fun that way. I usually just leave it like this and go through the new kits. So. And you've got, you know, different defaults here, NATO, Finger Drummer, General MIDI, things like that that you can also choose from. We've got uh, different um, four, four and four, you know, eight different rhythm patterns that you can select. Your root note, if you want your root note other than C3 as far as for your MIDI is where, where your pattern's going to be organized around, you know. And let's see here. Um, you also, one of the cool things too is you can isolate each individual channel. So I can take the kick. Let me make myself some room here. I can take the kick. Here's where you can do it. You hit these two lines in, in Bitwig, and then you select Add Missing Chains, and now it's given me all the individual channels right here. And of course, currently kick is on one. So if I wanted to EQ that and treat it, I would simply select it. And I can go here and grab myself an EQ. And I can treat that kick and isolate that kick and put any kind of EQ or element to it. Just like so. So the big power of that too is of course, you know, we know in Bitwig we can do a lot of modulating. That's the power of Bitwig, right? So being able to isolate these individual sounds within that plugin allows us to come in here now and start to use our modulators and create the and shape the sound any way we like. So let's go back to the plugin and what was uh let me see, let's see the snare. Let's see what it's on. See the snare, I select it and say channel two. Now the snare, as you see over here, is on channel two. And I can continue to move forward. And I can solo. Let's get a little reverb on that. And also within the plugin itself, as you can see here, if I choose to, I can filter, pitch, pan, shape, and you know we've got some uh, straightforward, simple, easy to use um, shaping tools right here as far as sound. So there's a lot of good ways to work with it. Right here inside of Bitwig, this is Atlas. So let's see. Let's take a look at the actual project I was working on. Now I'm going to get rid of this guy since we've gone through the demonstration there. We don't need that in our way. And I'll unmute this guy. And this is the pattern I came up with and the sound I came up with uh, for this little remix. that, uh, Not really remix, more like a re-edit that I've been working on here. So let's take a listen. So hopefully that was a pretty good little um, overview and quick look at Atlas, the plugin Atlas. So this would be the website you would want to come to and take a look as far as uh, grabbing Atlas from Algonaut and uh, taking a look at what's going on here. So really, really powerful plugin. And, you know, 
a lot of good features the guys have added here. So you can kind of scroll through and check it all out. But uh, I definitely recommend um, adding it to your Bitwig toolbox because I think it's very powerful inside of Bitwig and um, can become, you know, a really useful way of getting ideas out quickly. So, I mean, me personally, I probably wouldn't use the MIDI clips as much. I would use my own MIDI clips that I've either created over the years or I would just program my own drums. But if you just want to grab a quick MIDI clip, bring it in as a placeholder and an idea holder, and then you can begin your final, you know, editing and things like that, it'd be a, a great idea for you. But for me, it's just that ease of going through my samples, getting ideas out quick, and, you know, not really being bogged down with the actual sound design or sound searching, I guess I would be a better way to look at it. So hopefully that's been helpful for you. So check out the ladies and gentlemen over at Atlas from Algonaut and uh, say hello. Tell them uh, Vic Vapor sent you and all that good stuff. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for pushing play and peace.